again. I'm Matt, a park guide here at Shadowland National Military Park, and I'd like to welcome you to our final installment of the 8th Illinois Infantry Regiment at Shiloh. Now where we left off, it was the evening of April the 6th, and they were on Grant's last line of defense sleeping in the rain. Well, Monday morning on April the 7th, General Grant is going to order a counterattack and begin to push the Confederate Army back across the battlefields of Shiloh and force them to return to Corinth. The 8th is going to have limited action until approximately 2 o'clock in the afternoon when General Crittenden notices that there is an artillery battery of Confederates right here in this area that's pouring fire on a regiment. That regiment's going to be repulsed. And he's going to order the 8th and the 18th Illinois to take those guns. Both regiments are going to advance at the double quick. They're going to close in as those guns are firing at them. But those gunners will soon be compelled to retire and flee the guns. The color bearers of the 8th and the 18th race forward ahead of the formations and plant their flags on those guns, claiming them for the Union Army. Once the rest of the regiments got forward to the guns, Captains Reed and Wilson will order the guns to be turned on the retreating Confederates, and they will pour fire into the ranks as they retreat, forcing them to become disorganized. This will be the final action for the, seven, for the 8th Illinois here at Shiloh. We're standing in the Pittsburgh Landing or Shiloh National Cemetery, and I think that this is a fitting place to end this program. The marker next to me is the regimental marking for the 8th Illinois. And these 15 graves are soldiers of the 8th Illinois who lost their lives at the Battle of Shiloh. The regiment started the day out with 473 officers and men. On April the 6th, they spent approximately 11 hours in contact with the enemy. And on the 7th, about three. Their losses, 23 killed in action, 91 wounded in action, and 10 missing. Well, that concludes my story of the 8th Illinois here at Shiloh. I will, however, try to encourage you to pick up a book and learn something about our history. Until then, I hope you all have an opportunity to explore other national parks.